Hey everybody, it's Dylan. Welcome back to my channel. Hello. Hope everyone's having a great day and a great spooky month. <laughs> so today I'm doing a review of the Princess Aurora Classic Cordal from Mattel. She is so stunning in her pink dress. Cannot wait to look at all of the beautiful details with you for this doll. If this is your first time here though, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love collecting Disney Princess items. I love collecting Mattel items. I do a lot of reviews and unboxings. So if that's something you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much. So continuing our look at the beautiful Mattel dolls for the Disney princesses, we are going to look at Aurora out of the box in just a moment, but let's first look at Aurora's in the box packaging. That way we can see how she is found in the stores, or if you pr uh, prefer to keep these in the box, this is what she will look like. So she has a beautiful purple background. Really, really love that. Everything has sparkles. Everything is glitzy. Um, they've been using this kind of basis just for all the backgrounds of the princesses. So you'll find with all the princesses this different background, but generally they have the same sparkles, just different colors and different patterns. We see with Aurora, there is Fauna or uh, Flora up there, one of her three fairies, the Disney 100 logo. Looks like Meriwether there, and maybe there's Fauna. Um, Fauna and Flora look a little the same <laughs> with this. Here's a beautiful rose, a spinning wheel, another rose, and a squirrel from the forest. So she's displayed beautifully. So I'm just going to do a quick skim here because we are going to look at her outside of the box. But she has beautiful blonde hair, a tiara. She is in her pink dress with white trim on the bodice there. Has a little crown in the center and then we have her beautiful fabric skirt that has lots of pretty patterns on it we'll take a look at that and this is aurora's face here um, presented on the box and it says disney princess aurora mattel three plus the back of the box has some more pretty artwork on it it says sleeping beauty's grace and positive nature enchant all she meets <laughs> and there is aurora with her forest friends the owl the squirrel and the rabbits <laughs> This is all of the Disney princesses that they have featured in this line, and you can buy dolls of each of them. And here is the product information for this doll. All the um, different languages and warnings and everything like that. <laughs> all right, beautiful packaging, huh? And it's very simple to open, so all of those packagings are very, very easy to get open as, you know, these are meant for small kids or collectors on a budget, and um, basically you just peel the plastic layer off. So, but here is Aurora out of the box. As you can see, the hair between each, each one can vary, um, just given, I guess, the certain bindings and the way that she is placed in there. It looks like the one that I have out of the box has had a little bit of... Um, a mess <laughs> coming out of the box, but we'll take a look at her hair in just a moment. First, let's start with her beautiful face. I mean, I love Aurora's face sculpt here. I'm so glad that they're using this face for the Radiance Collection from Mark at Mattel Creations. I believe everyone knows how I feel about Aurora with purple eyes. Aurora has blue eyes, but she is marketed with purple. And Nevertheless, it looks so pretty and just that lovely lavender color in her eyes with that one long eyelash. It's very similar to what Sleeping Beauty looks like in her film as it has a very specific art style. Very, very different from the other two original princesses, Snow White and Cinderella. So she has angular brows and she's smiling, pink lips. This is her profile there. Again, it just really matches Aurora's angular beauty. Really, really love that. She has her bang and it is curled somewhat here. This is not exactly what Aurora's bang looks like, but this is more of a budget version of that, I would say. <laughs> Golden hair. She does have a sparkly plastic yellow crown. Aurora's signature motif is her tiara, and it has little moldings on it, some little gems and just squiggles. So, so pretty. <laughs> you can see there just more of um, how hot mess her hair is. <laughs> but um, this crown is tactile and, and cannot be removed unless if you wanted to cut those off. Very, very nice. So Aurora's hair is short, maybe like right past her shoulders, which I believe is accurate to her hair, you know. 
um, I think it is a very nice color. It's just um, just the budget dolls whenever these are packed. Um, maybe the, the rubber bandings and things just aren't uh, placed in as carefully as they should be. But I do see the potential here um, because these curls are really, really lovely. It's just they're messy. And so if we could go in and clean those up, it wouldn't be so bad. But these curls in particular look a lot like Aurora to me and speak of Sleeping Beauty's film style, art style. She has this white piece here molded on top, which we don't like, <laughs> but for a budget, we understand, right? <laughs> she has a golden crown in the center, and this is su supposed to look like a gem or a jewel as it's see-through, and it has tiny engravings on it. So, so pretty. A swirl here, a swirl there. This looks a lot like um, things you would find maybe in her forest, um, so I really like how that's based on her actual movie. Very, very nice. And where the skirt comes to, there is, of course, the little... Um, side pieces here. I cannot remember what these are called, <laughs> but they are supposed to continue to this little layer of fabric. First, looking at Aurora's dress, it is very shiny, and actually on camera you're able to see it a lot better than in person, but it just has more royal like uh, filigree. There are some like little birds in there and squirrels from her forest, as well as roses, as Aurora is known by her aunties as Rose, Briar Rose, and there's just beautiful little windows. So it's like each little nook here has an element from her story. A squirrel, a rose, a rock a bluebird so so nice and we will take this off and I'll show you the construction of the doll so it is elastic around the waist so all we want to do is just move this back here put Aurora back for the time being <laughs> so there's beautiful skirt there is a thin layer of fabric that goes around the waist to resemble her you know what they're called, the triangular pieces around her, her waist. I cannot think of what those are called, <laughs> but that's what they are. And then again, it's just the same um, shape of skirt um, as with Snow White and Cinderella. Um, but very, very nice quality. I love the fabric and I love the pattern. So, and this is meant to be an easy toy that a young child could play with, perhaps, or an adult on a budget. <laughs> this is how Aurora's body is constructed. You can see there on the back it says Disney Mattel 2022, made in Indonesia. And there's actually a pretty uh, similar display there on the back of her torso. Legs, and Aurora has her own shoes designed just for her made with pretty squiggles and roses on the front. And I love that they have carried through that theme. And of course, these shoes have been rubber banded on so that way they don't just fall off. <laughs> but there are pretty little squiggles on it. So, so pretty. I love, love that. But to construct this back, it's very, very simple. That's why this is made for small children or like I said, for collectors on a budget <laughs> or just fans in general, you know. Want to just pull this back up, and I just always make sure that this seam aligns with like the the middle of her back, and then you have it. It's back to what we had before. <laughs> super super love it. I love the new Aurora face sculpt, and I'm so glad that we're going to be seeing more of it as time goes on, and I'm so excited for the Radiance Collection Aurora that has the same face sculpt. Okay, everybody, hope you all enjoyed my review of the Aurora Cordal from Mattel. If you have her, please let me know. She's available wherever toys are sold, and she retails for about $10 to about $15, just depending on where you get her. So let me know what you think. Of course, if this was your first time here, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for all the love and support, Disney fans. <laughs> all right, well, I will see you next time in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>